Hello, uh, welcome to today's uh, class on digital computer design lab. So we had been using Logisim for uh, simulating our logic circuits. Um, in our theory class, we have not yet covered uh, binary addition. Uh, in the previous class, we looked at we we talked about binary numbers binary number systems. Uh, we will cover binary addition uh, in theory class later. But to conduct our lab class today, uh, let me briefly explain uh, binary addition. So uh, this is about adding two bits only. So we are adding two numbers and each number is of size only one bit. So when we say one bit, the number can be either zero or it can be one. And we have two such numbers. So the first number can be zero, second number can be zero, or the first number can be zero and the second number is one. The first number is 1, the second number is 0, and first number is 1, and second number is also 1. So these are the only four possibilities when we are adding two binary numbers. Uh, the binary number size is only one bit. And now when we add 0 and 0, 0 plus 0 is 0. Uh, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is also 1 and now 1 plus 1 in decimal it will be 2 but 2 is represented as 1 0 in binary so when I say binary 1 plus binary 1 will be equal to binary 1 0 now another way of looking at this is that 1 plus 1 results in a sum of 0 and a carry of 1. In the previous three case, case 0 plus 0, 0 plus 1, 1 plus 0, here the carry was 0. No carry was generated. So only we had the sum. 0 plus 0 is sum of 0 with a carry of 0. 0 plus 1 is sum of 1 with a carry of 0. 1 plus 0 is sum of 1 with a carry of 0. And 1 plus 1 is sum of 0. So 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. So this is how we are interpreting the results. And if we now based on that we can create a truth table. Uh, if we call the first number is the first bit is a and the second number is b and we are called the output as carry and sum so we have two inputs and we have two outputs in our truth table and the first case is 0 plus 0 so a is 0 b is 0 in which case the sum is 0 and carry is also 0 so the when the input is 0, 0, the output is 0, 0. Then the next case, 0 plus 1. So A is 0 and B is 1. In this case, the sum will be 1 with a carry of 0. The third case, 1 plus 0. A is 1, B is 0. Will again result in a sum of 1 with a carry of 0. And the last case, 1 plus 1, um, results in sum 0 and a carry of 1. So this truth table, I have written it here. And now in Logisim, I have created this logic circuit. So we have two inputs, A, B, and we have two outputs, C and S carry and sum inputs are a and b and now in our logic circuit i have used the and gate 
and this is a XOR gate and I have connected the inputs in this way now let us look at the behavior let us create the truth table of this uh, logic circuit so as I execute I will populate the truth table also so let me copy this part so this is where I will write down the truth table as I execute as I simulate using my um, logism so now for the first case zero in when input is zero zero the output are zero zero so let me write that down so I have written the first row for the truth table now let me change the input to 0 1 when I change the input to 0 1 I get output 0 1 also so let me write that down so input 0 1 output is also 0 1 now let me change the input to 1 0 and I give the input 1 0 again the output is 0 1 so let me write down doubt also so 1 0 so for 1 0 also the output is 0 1 and let us now finally try out 1 1 one one the output is one zero so let me write them down also okay so we have got the truth table for this logic circuit also so now let us compare this table that we got from the logic circuit with the truth table that we created for the binary addition of two bits and if we see these two truth tables are identical 0 0 output is 0 0 here here also 0 0 output is 0 0 0 1 the output is 0 1 here also input 0 1 the output is 0 1 for 1 0 the output is 0 1 here also 1 0 the output is 0 1 and here 1 1 the output is 1 0 and here also 1 1 the output is 1 0 so what we see is both this was the truth table we calculated for binary addition and this is the truth table we calculated for our logic circuit so what we see is that this logic circuit is actually performing the addition of two bits and actually this logic circuit has a name it's called uh, half adder it's called a half adder um, so so it's it's interesting to realize that using logic gates which are implementing logic function and logic function and XOR logic function using logic operations we are able to perform arithmetic so this must be an interesting observation for you that using logic operations we are performing arithmetic 
So this logic circuit actually performs the addition of two bits and it is called half header. We will talk about half header in more details in the theory class. And we also have something called full header. Um, so now, uh, and this is all I had for today's class. Uh, we studied half header and we saw how to implement it. Uh, I would like, I'll ask you to also create this logic circuit and verify the output yourself. And as a assignment, I would like you to um, also work on this logic circuit. Create this logic circuit where I have three AND gates. I have one OR gate. I also have two NOT gates. And please verify what this logic circuit is doing. Create the truth table and try to find out what it is doing. So this is one logic circuit and one more. Uh, this logic circuit also. Here I have one AND gate, two OR gates, a AND gate and two NOT gates connected as shown here. And again, I would like you to implement this logic circuit and create the truth table for it and then find out what this logic circuit is doing. So this would be the assignment for this class. Uh, I'll send the instructions how to submit. And with that, I would like to end today's class. Uh, we need to make a little bit more progress in our theory class to be able to create more complicated logic circuits. Um, okay, we'll stop here for today. We'll meet in the next class. Bye.